Preventing overeating is actually so much easier than just gritting your teeth and telling yourself not to eat. So today I'm sharing five really awesome nutrition tricks to help prevent overeating and help you achieve your weight loss goals. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. And today's video is sponsored by Kettle and Fire. More on them in a bit. Okay, the first nutrition trick is to eat two eggs at breakfast or your first meal if you're following intermittent fasting. It's kind of true what they say, your breakfast or your breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It really sets you up for if you're going to be hungry all day and if you're going to want to eat a lot of food that's not in line with your goals or if you're going to feel really satiated and satisfied. And if you start off with your first meal with something that's really high in carbs, really high in sugar, and really low in protein, it's going to cause more unstable blood sugar levels that can cause you to feel more hungry every couple of hours. So the goal of the first meal is really to stabilize those blood sugar levels to help prevent the overeating. In fact, one study compared specifically two eggs with an oatmeal breakfast to show exactly how this works. And it found that the egg group had higher levels of satiety, which is kind of like a higher level of satisfaction after the meal, they also had lower levels of the hunger hormone ghrelin, which is crucial for preventing overeating. Okay, the second nutrition trick you can use is to drink mint tea. Menthol found in mint and peppermint has actually been found to be really supportive of suppressing appetite. One study found that when they use peppermint oil in humans, it helped to reduce their hunger and appetite during a fasted state. You can use oils, but my personal favorite is to sip on pepper, peppermint, peppermint, <laughs> peppermint tea. It's really inexpensive and really easy to make. You can buy fresh mint, or if you just even have a small space in your garden, you can grow it and it grows like an absolute weed. It is crazy. But to help maximize on those benefits of using peppermint tea or mint tea, you'll wanna take some fresh mint and just boil some water, pour it over the mint and let it sit for a few minutes so it can properly infuse. Ideally having this after a meal, especially after dinner, when usually those snacky food items come into play, like the desserts, the popcorn, the chocolate. Having the peppermint or mint tea at that time instead can help prevent those cravings that would otherwise work against your goals. Okay, the third nutrition trick to help prevent overeating is to pair collagen rich foods with protein and specifically complete protein. So I didn't wanna to get too much into protein specifically in this video because if you guys have followed me for like two seconds, you know that this really should be your first line of defense against overeating. Getting adequate protein is one of the strongest signals to tell your body that you're full, you're satisfied, and you don't need to keep eating. And most people are not getting nearly enough. And if you don't believe me, you should check out my video on exactly how much protein you need to eat per day for a weight loss goal. I'll have it linked right up here if you wanna check that out. But something that you can do in addition to having protein, like if you find that you still are not fully satisfied and if you still need a little bit extra, adding collagen rich foods to your complete protein can really help to boost that satiety further. There's one study that found that by adding collagen or gelatin to a meal, it increased satiety by 40% and then naturally reduced energy intake by about 20% at the next meal. And that's because collagen with those complete proteins sends such a strong satiety signal that you don't even want to keep eating. Nails can be done in a variety of different ways. You could add collagen powder into like a smoothie or you could sip on bone broth or add it into your meals like with today's sponsor, Kettle and Fire. I've been using Kettle and Fire for so long. I think it's like over three years at this point now and they've been a sponsor for about two years because I do use them all the time, every single week. They're an amazing high quality bone broth company that just makes adding bone broth and high quality collagen to your meals so easy. I love that Kettle and Fire slowly simmers the bones that they use so they can get as much collagen out of those bones as possible. They also use grass fed and grass finished bones and they come in so many different flavors making it really easy to add to pretty much any one of your meals. So you saw me just hold up the chipotle beef. This is the one that I often use in chili recipes. Just add some additional flavor while also adding in a lot of collagen. But probably still my absolute favorite and the one I use all the time is their original beef or chicken bone broth. It's so versatile. It's so easy to use in soups and stews. Just a really simple way to add a huge punch of collagen to help prevent overeating and help to feel more full and satisfied. Something I've been using lately as well are their soups. They use their bone broth in their soup and I'll add this along with my lunch to get an extra boost of collagen at my lunch as well. And Kettle and Fire is so generous. They're offering my community 20% off their bone broth purchases when you use code AutumnBates at checkout. So make sure you stock up. This is such a useful tool to get that high quality collagen. I'll 
have the link with the details down in the description below. Okay, the fourth nutrition trick to help prevent overeating is to go on a really short walk after your meal. There are so many weight loss and wellness benefits for going on a walk after you've eaten. But specifically when it comes to overeating, walking and especially walking outside can help to lower our stress hormone cortisol. And when cortisol levels are high, that's usually when we're craving more fast digestible, highly palatable foods like sugar or starches, those foods that are really easy to overeat. So even just going on a five or 10 minute walk around the block after you've eaten can help to lower this cortisol level and help to prevent the overeating that could occur because of being in a stress state. But on top of that, from a weight loss perspective, going on a walk after meal helps to stabilize the blood sugar level, helps to make it so the body absorbs that excess blood sugar and therefore doesn't get as big of a spike of the storing hormone insulin. Okay, the fifth nutrition trick to help prevent overeating is to experiment with a magnesium supplement. Magnesium for a long time has been known to help improve sleep quality. And when we're looking to prevent overeating, we really wanna maximize sleep because after you've had just even one night of poor sleep, the very next day, the body experiences higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol, higher levels of the hunger hormone, and increased preference for things like sugar and starches, which again, are really easy to overeat on. There are a bunch of different tools to help combat poor sleep, but one of my personal favorites, and that's just a really easy trick, is to incorporate some type of magnesium supplement. Magnesium has been studied to possibly help regulate the systems needed to improve both sleep quality and duration. And it can already be tricky to get enough magnesium from food. So I personally take about 500 milligrams of magnesium about 30 to 60 minutes before bed in order to help maximize my sleep quality. But if you found that you finished a meal and it just wasn't satisfying, even though it was packed with the types of foods that you need to help support your goals that should have made you feel full and satisfied, you might be in a situation where a snack is important. I'm not a big fan of snacks, but sometimes there is the case for it. But it is important to make sure that you're choosing the right types of snacks if you want to support your goals and make sure that you're preventing overeating. So make sure you check out this video next with those details. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.